Every once in a while, a little bit of data can put into sharper focus ideas that we have been talking about and thinking about and debating for quite some time. The economic system. Is it as rigged as we believe it is? Do people actually agree? Not just the most engaged online supporters and debaters about these issues. Do the American people really think on the left and the right that the system is rigged as, Don as Donald Trump has been trying to latch onto and as Bernie Sanders has had as perhaps the core of his entire message uh, so far during this primary? 71% of Americans believe that the economy is rigged in favor of certain groups. They were given three choices in this survey, uh, rigged in favor of certain groups, fair to all Americans, and don't know. So look, you could say, if they didn't have the don't know, I mean, look, a lot of Americans, we would have assumed, probably don't have that strong of opinions. They know implicitly, they feel what is going on, but to say that the system is rigged, that is to be very clear. There's no ambiguity there. And they had the option to say that they don't know, but 71% of Americans, an insane amount of agreement, of agreement across well, all the different demographic groups, including the political uh, spectrum, agreeing that the system is rigged, which has so many consequences, which I'm uh, very excited to talk about. Now, it didn't matter if the person was white, black, or Hispanic, Republican, Democrat, or independent. Okay, obviously there was some variation between those, but they all overwhelmingly believed that the system uh, is rigged. Now, I mentioned uh, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, and uh, to some extent, they can uh, receive some of the credit for people being willing to say it, understanding, even though politics, especially primaries, it's very difficult to force yourself to pay attention to this, okay? Because very often the debates can be esoteric, and very often it seems like there's no real choice being given to people. And in this case, they got the message. With Bernie, Bernie Sanders, that, as I said, was the core of his message. And he has the solutions to try to fix that system. Everything from the banks to tax structure and, and health insurance and all of that. Now, Donald Trump is saying the same thing. He's acknowledging the same reality, Although he is not a person trying to come in and fix that system, he is a person who has been a part of that system his entire life. He has become rich as a part of that system. Not just the business end, but literally the marriage of business and politics. And so he'll, he says that he wants to fix it, but there's absolutely no reason to believe him. Now, I don't have data on whether people uh, believe that Bernie San believe in Bernie's view of things in terms of the rigging of the, the economic system versus Donald Trump's. I hope that they have gone beyond just the base level and understand what these two men would actually do were they to become president. But this is something that it is so satisfying to see coming about. Uh, as we transition uh, in the very near future from the, the primary into the general election. I mean, people need to understand these basic truths, these basic facts from which particular policies are driven and, uh, and derived, and the support for them is derived. I mean, you can't start debating and running a campaign on incredibly specific esoteric policies if people don't understand the philosophical basis for them. And that's why Bernie Sanders has been such a unique politician, that he comes in and he has the philosophy down. He articulates what we've felt and what we've thought, and then he combines that with an all-inclusive package of policies meant to get us to that better world that we know that we can get to. I just hope that in the next rounds of the, the discussion leading up to the convention, that when the convention actually starts, that they have the right voices, they have the right stances, that we come out of this with some agreement of the most important priorities that we need to be fighting for, that we do not simply allow Donald Trump to determine by how insane he is whether he gets to win or lose the presidency. If he is able to tamp down his abhorrent behavior and enough people vote for him that he becomes president, or he's just so clearly awful in every way that people who have no interest in the Democratic Party feel, feel like they have to vote against him. I don't want that to be the campaign. What I want is for progressive priorities to have an avenue that you can coalesce behind and you can vote for and it can have a real chance of winning. And we have that chance. 71% of the country knows the fucking deal. They know what's fucking up. And they are ready to vote for someone who is actually going to change that system. They have been so clear if only the politicians would listen.